Ali Hussein Olu. He's an associate professor of international relations at Trachea University's Balkan Research Institute. Good to have you with us. Uh, it's clear that there are um, a lack of officially sanctioned mosques uh, in major cities in Greece, including Athens. So just how much religious freedom uh, do Muslims have? Do they feel as though they are integrated into Greek society? Um, hi from Medina. I don't think that uh, they don't uh, they don't feel so. Many of the Muslims, they don't feel so exactly. Uh, there are roughly two types of Muslims in Greece. One is the autochthonous Muslim Turkish ones who live in Western Trace, a numbering around 150,000. And the, major, and the majority of Muslims, they have, they are immigrant Muslims uh, who arrived in Greece and have been living uh, there for the last 40 or 50 years. And uh, they have some similar problems, but they have uh, some different as well. For example, they cannot talk about a lack of official mosque in Western Trades but, uh, and, and in the coast and Rhodes Islands. But uh, this is a major problem for the majority of Muslims living in Athens and Thessaloniki. And as you say, and as you said, uh, they have uh, uh, pr problems about legalization, legalizing these houses of uh, prayers. Only a few they have already been registered uh, with the Greek Ministry of Religious Affairs and Education. Uh, but uh, the, the, the vast majority of them, they remain as ma makeshift uh, houses of prayers uh, who lack an official identity as a house of prayer. For example, in Athens, there are around half a million Muslims uh, nobody knows exactly the number, but they and uh, they have only one official house of prayer, the mosque, uh, which is only for 300 people, and that's it. And, uh, for example, in, Th in Thessaloniki, uh, Muslims living in the second biggest city of Greece, uh, they really suffer from the lack of an official house of prayer, and uh, they have no other option than praying cl collectively in makeshift uh, houses of prayers uh, who have no legal identity as well. And uh, let aside the mosques, for example, they have also some problems which are bigger, in my opinion, and, uh, and very significant about the cemeteries. I mean, uh, in the regions outside of Western Trace, Rhodos and Coast Islands, there are no uh, cemeteries, Muslim cemeteries, for those, for those Muslims uh, who pass away. And this is a very big problem. For example, assume that you are a Muslim living in Athens and you die. Where will your your corpse will be transferred to your country of origin, like Pakistan, Egypt, or Bangladesh, or uh, and because there is nowhere in, in Athens that you can perform your Muslim uh, burial and ceremony. And Ali, I know, I know, uh, you've mentioned the cemeteries there. I know that Muslim yeah. cemeteries have been defaced in uh, in Greece. Are you also concerned about growing Islamophobia? And do you believe that Muslims in Greece? are coming under increasing uh, attack. Exactly. I mean, uh, this may happen in actions or uh, in, uh, in discourse. If you, you, can, if, uh, you can hear some Greek politicians, some, even some Greek clerics uh, from the Greek church uh, using quite overtly Islamophobic statements. And uh, this actually makes many of the Muslims living in Greece uh, quite unhappy. And this actually does not uh, help at all for their integration with the majority Greek society, which is a big, big problem. Uh, Ali, thank you. Ali Hussein Olu there speaking to us live. Thank you very much indeed.